Hey, what's up guys? Jeremy here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Teach Target on Surface feature. As the name suggests, this feature lets you create targets directly on the surface of the 3D models you imported in RoboDK. This way, you can create accurate programs in just a few clicks. Let's take a look at that. For this example, we will open the 01B station inspection. In it, you will find a UR10E, a camera, a TCP, a part, a frame, and a floor. All of that being laid down in the, the station tree. Before we get started with the Teach Target on Surface feature, I want to show you a little something. If I was to create a target with this robot here, it would be automatically created in the active reference frame here world. If I delete that target and I activate robot base, right click, activate reference frame, and I create another target, the target will be created in the active reference frame here or the robot base in this case. If I was to select a target, even if it's not activated and click add target, the target will be added to that selected reference frame. But if I click to add another target afterwards without reselecting frame A, the new target will be created in the active reference frame. So that's just something to keep in mind. There's a way to recover if you don't follow that rule. And I'm gonna show you that in a few videos. So that's very important. This is a mistake that I still do after many years of using RoboDK on a daily basis. But like I said, fortunately, there is an easy way to record, recover from that. So don't forget to watch uh, that little trick in, I don't, I think like two or three videos. Okay, let's say that we want to inspect that part here. One thing I could do is kind of do it the manual way. So bring the robot here, lower it down, and then create a target, move the robot down, create another target. As you can see here, I didn't have the right angle completely, so I would have to kind of reposition myself and everything. It would take a bit of time and Potentially, there is an easier way. And in fact, there is an easier way. So the first thing I'll do, first of all, is to activate the reference frame A, because I want to work in this frame here. And if I press forward slash, you'll see that this is frame inspection A. And the part, which is here, is part of the frame inspection A. I didn't told you yet, but if you see that little cube icon, this represents an object. Let's hide the naming, okay. So if you go to program, you will see the fourth option is called teach targets on surface. If you activate this option, this little panel here will appear. This panel will let you, like the feature my name says, teach some targets on the surface. For the first shot, I would recommend you to deactivate this option here. So make sure that those are all grayed out and leave the rest as is. If you bring your mouse on top of the surface, you will see that the robot is following the surface or kind of sticking on the surface. On top of that, you can even click to add targets directly on the surface. So I can go around and create targets just like this. Like that. Like this like that, this, like that, and like this. So as you can see, in just a few seconds, I was able to create 10 targets, and I'm for sure certain that they are at the right level with respect to the surface that we are working on. As you can see here, we have at all time the robot preview here, so a kind of semi-transparent robot. If you click on remove show preview, you won't see it anymore. But if you were to click somewhere, it would create uh, the target. So that can be useful if you want to kind of see what you're doing and you're kind of stuck with um, the robot in your, let's say in your way. Uh, now that we're done with the teacher on surface, I want to show you something real quick. You can see that if I'm running here sometime, the the robot is kind of acting a bit crazy like this or that. 
This is because it will snap on any surface. So it will snap on the ground and it will also snap on uh, kind of the thickness of the plate if there's any thickness. So that can give you some kind of what looks like a weird behavior. But one thing you can do is simply make the floor invisible. So that would help. At this point, you can snap on the floor. So you kind of get rid of that kind of weird behavior. I like having the floor. I think it's kind of add more depth to uh, the station and I like it. At this point, what you can do is click on each of the targets to run it. I'm going to increase the speed of simulation here. I find it a bit slow. So I can scroll from one target to the other, just like that. Cool. Now that it's done, I would like to uh, give those targets a specific name. So what I can do is I obviously can select the first target, press F2, enter the name. But as I have a list of targets, and I would like to all kind of name them the same way and just have a numerical, numerical ID at the end that would kind of increment uh, from one target to the other. What I can do is select the first target, press and hold shift, select the last one, right click, and you have here rename group. You can then call it, let's say inspect A and click OK. This way, all the targets will be named inspect A space and an ID. Cool. Another thing that you can do real quick, you can select all those targets, right click and select preview target. That will bring the robot to all of those targets and kind of show you exactly how the robot will be positioned and what kind of configuration you'll have to deal with for those targets position. Those are normal targets. So you can press F3, change the values if you need. And you can press Alt and simply move them here as you see fit. So you have as much flexibility as you had with normal targets as they are normal targets. Okay, so that's pretty much everything for this video. In the next one, I'm going to show you how to create the main program, but also how to, to add sub program to this main program so that you can have an approach and a retract motion outside of the main and create kind of an assembly of sub programs to create your main program, which is generally the way we would do uh, things in robotics. I hope it was helpful. See you in the next video.